Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are at a very special type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! Ooh. The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished. Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Peppa has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited ah. to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Peppa is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped oh. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund. You can do it. It's really fun. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across <laughs> it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, 
Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> 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 Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. <laughs> Edmund? <Whee>! And Edmund <laughs> Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness! We better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no! We're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. <laughs> So, we are here, and we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Peppa. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! <laughs> Big celebrity coming through. Make way for the star, thank you. <laughs> no autographs today. Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. Okay. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you choose the bowling ball. 
Then you throw it straight ahead, like this. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa! Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Oh! Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lake. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Now you try, Pedro. OK, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> but Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. Good luck. <laughs> Watch this. Susie Sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler! Hooray! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. <laughs> Today, Pepper and George are going for a picnic with Granny and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Nearly there! <laughs> It's Peppa's first time being in charge of packing the picnic. Are you OK, Peppa? I need to bring all my toys for the picnic, but they won't fit. Hmm. Do you need all of your toys? Uh, I know. I can just bring Teddy instead. Dinosaur! <laughs> and dinosaur. Wonderful. We won't have space for the food if we bring all your toys. What kind of food would you like to make for the picnic, Peppa? Oh, let's make spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Spaghetti is not very good picnic food. How about sandwiches? I love sandwiches too. <laughs> what is your favourite kind of sandwich? Jam! <laughs> Peppa, George and Granny Pig are making Yay! jam sandwiches. Will we need anything else for the picnic, Peppa? Um, we need a comfy picnic blanket. Can you find one, Grandpa? Aye, aye, Peppa. <laughs> oh, no. Making jam sandwiches is very messy. And cleaning the mess has made an even bigger mess. Not to worry. You can't make jam sandwiches without getting a little jammy. <laughs> Pepper's sandwiches are triangles. Ta-da! And George's are dinosaurs. <laughs> Got the blanket. Ah. Do we need anything else, Pepper? Hmm. We need cups for our orange juice. Well done, Peppa. Looks like we're ready to go. This is going to be so oh. much fun. Oh no, it's raining. Picnics are not as fun in the rain. Oh dear, I think our outdoor picnic will have to wait, oh. Peppa. Oh. But why don't we have an indoor picnic instead? Yay! 
Peppa has set up her picnic indoors. Now we can have a picnic even when it's raining. And all my toys can come too. Picnic! <laughs> Everyone loves Peppa's picnic and Peppa loved packing it for them. Grandpa George, where are you? <laughs> Today, Peppa is playing in the garden with George and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> found you! Peppa has found George and Grandpa Pig in a bush. <laughs> it's so cosy in here. Yes, reminds me of the garden den I had as a boy. Can we make a garden den, Grandpa? Yes, indeed. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing special gardening gloves and boots ah. to make the garden den. <laughs> First, we need to dig a hole with these spades and get lots of sticks and twigs. Peppa loves digging the hole with Grandpa Pig. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Um, well done, Peppa. And George loves ah. gathering sticks. <laughs> I think that's enough sticks. Well done, George. Now Grandpa Pig is hammering the sticks into the hole. Stand back, everyone. <coughs> Finally, Grandpa Pig makes a roof out of sticks. And Pepper and George cover the roof in lots of leaves. Why do we need the leaves, Grandpa? They keep the den nice and warm. Looks safe and sound. <gasps> well done. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You'll need this before we go in, Peppa. Grandpa Pig has given Peppa a special backpack. <laughs> Everyone is very happy with their new garden den. Um. Grandpa, what do we do in the garden den? My favourite thing to do in a den is have a <gasps> picnic. The special backpack is full of fruit from the garden. Pepper and George <laughs> love having a picnic in the garden den. Mm. Pepper, oh. George, where are you? <laughs> 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 Everyone loves having a picnic in the garden den. <laughs> Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel. But he isn't very happy. What's that smell? <laughs> yeah! Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh. Hold your noses, everyone. Moo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes. Baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Pepper. We found the nappy changing station. 
First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. <laughs> there. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Pepper. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? Fairy wheel! Fairy wheel! <laughs> whoa, whoa. Are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh! We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> and soon they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. <laughs> ours can be blue. blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. <laughs> But Pepper and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now, we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. <laughs> First, we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, <gasps> Perfect. And now, I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madame Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red! Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. I think we made too much lava. No, Candy, you made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes, but everyone really loves making colourful muddy puddles. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! Me! Oh! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> 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 
Now, the pedals make the go-kart go. And the brakes make it stop. And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh dear, I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie! Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny! <laughs> Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go-kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Pepper is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Pepper. Oh, much better. Pepper and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Pepper and her friends love racing go-karts. Oh there, there. Today, Pepper has found a video <gasps> of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. Ho, ho. Huh. What are you doing, Peppa? Look. Now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, ho, 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 very ho, ho. good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Yum. Oh. Peppa has decided she ah. has a craving too. I really want to eat. Oh, spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. Ahem. Hello, Peppa. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, 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 a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Fox? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. 
Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy, but now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <gasps> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>